So, tapping birch trees for sap. Um, first thing you've got to remember is what time of year it is. So we're in late February at the moment, we're in Yorkshire, but people further south will have been able to tap trees before this. Um, the old sort of wives tale goes that you should tap the birch tree when the bud on the willow is the size of a squirrel's toe. Um, but I would say just wait just before the leaves are going to come out. If you see the leaves are coming out, you've mixed, you've missed your chance really. But late February through into March, that's when you need to be uh, looking, certainly if you're in the north of England. Um, then you have to find the right tree. So obviously you have to know what a silver birch is. I'm sure you do. Um, but also we need to get a, a, a decent enough size tree so it can um, afford to lose the amount of sap that we're going to take. So um, I tend to go for something that's sort of nine inches in diameter. This is about right at the moment. This is, this is a good size. And um, we can happily take a gallon from this fella without it um, uh, affecting him at all. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to drill into the, the wood here. Um, the sap is running on the outside of the, um, the tree, it doesn't go up the centre. Uh, the sap wood is on the outside where it transmits all the sap up to the top of the tree and helps uh, the leaves grow and everything. So um, we just need to go in about a centimetre and a half. So we're not plunging a great big uh, hole in there, it's literally just going through the surface for a centimetre, centimetre and a half. And we should immediately get um, some sap coming out. So, let's give it a go. So there we go, about a centimetre and a half in there. And I can already see the sap, sap starting, starting to form on the outside here. So it is running. So then I've got a length of brewer's tubing. The, it's just slightly bigger than the drill bit was. So um, it'll easily push into the hole and hold in there. And you can see it started to run down the tree. This is actually um, running very well. So I pushed that tube in there just so it holds. This is kind of a slightly sort of silicon based tube. It's slightly sort of tacky on the outside so it holds in the hole really well. And then to capture what we need, this is a gallon demijohn, but you can use any sort of container but you will get about a gallon overnight, so be aware you don't want to put a little bottle on there because um, it's going to be overflowing and wasting your product. So then we pop that in there. And then if you come in close now, you can see if you look at the top of the tube here, you can see the sap's starting to form and it's just starting to run down. And that's going a steady trickle now. So we're definitely going to get like a, a gallon overnight and we'll come back to this tomorrow um, and we can uh, we can collect our sap and use it to make wine or syrup or any number of things. So once we've collected our sap, uh, we're going to remove the brewer's tube from here. And obviously we're going to leave a little bit of a wound in the tree. And uh, trees are pretty good at healing those wounds and this will heal over quite well on its own. But if we want to do a really nice job, what I'm going to do is plug the hole with a piece of birch wood. Um, and we can tap that in and it will stop some of the flow of the sap. But also, it's just going to give it a much smaller wound to um, to actually have to heal. So, uh, all I've done is whittled a little peg here, which is about the right size. And so we'll we'll take this out. You can see the sap, sap is still running on there. So, if we just left it, it would continue to bleed. So instead, we're going to pop this little peg in. slightly tapered the peg so I've done it down to the sort of uh, 10 mils of the drill at the top end but then it's tapered so as I tap it in it's just going to seal that hole. 
So there we go. We've got a decent seal on there. It might start running a little bit, but it's just going to help to, to seal that hole. I'm going to leave the peg proud at the moment, but uh, I can actually come back to this once this is sealed in here and then just cut the end of the peg off and all be right as rain. And then I'll leave this fella for three or four years until I come back and tap him again and he can have a rest. So we've shown you uh, a way of drilling the tree to get the sap out, uh, which is great if you're going to be making syrup or wine or any of those things. Um, but if you are just wanting a cup of sap to drink, um, there's an old way of doing it, which um, doesn't involve a drill. You can basically do it with your knife. So first thing I've done is that I've whittled a little leaf shape out of birch. Uh, so it's about two mils thick and then it's just pointed at each end. I suppose it's what four or five centimeters long. So that's what is actually going to guide the sap away from the tree. Then I've got a mug and I've got a piece of string somewhere. Drop me a piece of string. Oh no, I haven't. There it is. <laughs> Found it in the end. Um, so yeah, the cup obviously is going to collect our sap. This I can use to cut, uh, to tie the cup to the tree. But the first thing to do is to um, get the sap running. So I'm going to take my knife. I'm going to put it on a slightly upward angle into here, and then I'm just going to hit it with the flat of my hand. Okay, and that's going to just pierce this sapwood. And I need to then quite quickly insert my little leaf of wood. If it starts running down the tree, it's very hard to get it to run down this. But if I put this on first, um, it'll run down this and drop into the cup. Okay. So, do you want to come in a bit closer? So you can see my hands there. So you can see it about 45 degrees upward angle there and then hit this with the back back of my hand sorry the front of my hand palm of my hand and i'm just going to give this a little wiggle get my leaf shape and immediately push that in there so just by encouraging you see i drew drew my knife down the back of this there and it just gives you a wet patch all the way down the back so it can it breaks the surface tension so you then get this dripping off the end and you can see the sap's dripping away really nicely so I'll put my knife away we'll grab the string and the cup just looping that round and then we'll put this underneath at the back and there you have it you can see it dripping away here and uh, it's probably about a teaspoon worth already in there and after about half an hour or so, we can pop back and have a drink.